In this video, we will learn to prove the equation sine of x plus sine of 3 times x plus sine of 5 times x plus sine of 7 times x is equal to 4 times cosine of x times cosine of 2 times x times sine of 4 times x. Left hand side of the equation to be proved is sine of x plus sine of 3 times x plus sine of 5 times x plus sine of 7 times x. Here I have just rearranged the terms. We know the famous trigonometry identity sine of a plus sine of b is equal to 2 times sine of half of a plus b times cosine of half of a minus b. The proof of the trigonometry identity is given in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. Application of the above identity for cosine of 7 times x plus sine of 5 times x and sine of 3 times x plus sine of x gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times sine of 7 times x plus 5 times x upon 2 times cosine of 7 times x minus 5 times x upon 2 plus 2 times sine of 3 times x plus x upon 2 times cosine of 3 times x minus x upon 2. Further simplification gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times sine of 12 times x upon 2 times cosine of 2 times x upon 2 plus 2 times sine of 4 times x upon 2 times cosine of 2 times x upon 2. Cancelling out the common factor 2 in the numerator and the denominator gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times sine of 6 times x times cosine of x plus 2 times sine of 2 times x times cosine of x. Taking the common factor 2 times cosine of x out gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times cosine of x times sine of 6 times x plus sine of 2 times x. Again, application of the above set identity gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times cosine of x times 2 times sine of 6 times x plus 2 times x upon 2 times cosine of 6 times x minus 2 times x upon 2. Further simplification implies left hand side of the equation is equal to 4 times cosine of x times sine of 8 times x upon 2 times cosine of 4 times x upon 2. Cancelling out the common factor 2 in the numerator and the denominator gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 4 times cosine of x times sine of 4 times x times cosine of 2 times x which is equal to right hand side of the given equation. So we have proved the given equation. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos. Share the video and do write in the comments. I am eager to listen to your thoughts. If you have any question related to the video or if you think I should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested, please write in the comments. Thank you.